Since 1990, there have been more than 2,500 bird strikes at JFK alone. The number of strikes annually reported has increased more than five-fold from 1990 to 2010. Experts say bird strikes are an increasingly serious problem. They cause an estimated $600 million in damage to planes every year. But you can't put a value or price on the loss of life. Millions of businessmen and women are taking commuter flights every day. Just imagine the risk they're taking. Flocks of birds, like the one that brought down Captain Sullenberger's flight that landed in the Hudson River, have been blamed for scores of small plane crashes and at least two major U.S. aviation disasters. The objective of the Bartle Research Anti-Bird Strike Convention is to dramatically reduce the incidence of bird strikes on aircraft and their engines. It doesn't matter if the aircraft is landing, taking off, climbing, or at cruising altitude. The technology we are developing will save lives and reduce costly repairs. No matter how qualified pilots are, a bird strike to an aircraft engine is something they cannot control. The in-flight application of this invention will also act like a bird snowplow, clearing the air in front of the aircraft two to three miles. Here is a brief video that explains some of the conventional methods that are currently being used to clear birds off runways. Lush and green. In fact, it's called Tree City, USA. But this small base has a big problem because of the trees. Some people call me the bird man, yeah, they sure do. How do you feel about that? Oh, it's okay. I've been called worse. <laughs> Birdman Mike Pacheco is actually a U.S. Department of Agriculture employee hired by Randolph to keep the flight line as bird-free as possible. With all the foliage making up Tree City, USA, it's a huge task. He utilizes passive and active methods as part of an integrated wildlife management program. One passive measure simply involves riding in his truck with speakers that blast sounds of various predatory birds, like falcons and hawks, as well as the sounds of birds in distress. In theory, the sounds will scare the birds away. That's not always the case, though. In fact, even the roar of jet engines screaming down the runway doesn't seem to phase some of the birds. Besides the bird noises that blare from Mike's truck, he has another bird-scaring technique pyrotechnics. Banger guns, cannon fire, sometimes they keep the birds away and sometimes they don't. The last thing I need is for this bird to get in one of the engines or cause an event that's going to be a, a safety hazard. That has happened before on Randolph. A little bit in the summertime, watching for birds. In January, a bird flew into a T-38 engine during takeoff. The price tag to get that aircraft up and running again? Oh, nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Thankfully, no one was hurt in that incident. After this next segment, I'd like to bring on Bob Bartle, the founder of Bartle Research and the inventor of the anti-bird strike invention. But first, a little bit more about Bob. Bob is a veteran of the United States Air Force. During part of his active duty, he was responsible for safety flight conditions, which included maintaining jet engine test equipment and the electronics of each aircraft. While stationed at Edwards Air Force Base in California, he had direct contact with the National Bureau of Standards and supported research and development aircraft. During this assignment, he designed a modification for the TFX fighter, the F-111. This modification made possible an additional 9,800 flying hours per year. The F-111 was the first swing-wing aircraft in history. General Dynamics completed the modification that Bob developed prior to acceptance by the United States Air Force. He currently holds four scientific patents, but considers this anti-bird strike invention one of his best due to its ability to save lives.
It's an incredible sight. Danger, literally out of the blue. Watch it again. Just seconds after taking off from JFK, you can see a flock of birds fly into the engine of Delta Flight 1063 en route to Los Angeles, 172 passengers on board. WABC obtained this picture of the damage they caused. Up in the air within seconds after the strike, an unbelievably cool and calm pilot alerts the control tower he has a serious problem. And Delta 1063 has had an engine failure on the right engine, declaring an emergency due to a bird strike. Departure Delta 1063, we have declared an emergency engine failure on the right engine. Uh, request the visual return back to 13 right. In the cabin, the smell of smoke terrified passengers tightening their seat belts, hearing a grinding sound from the engine. New request, we'd like to do a visual to 2-2, please. Delta 1063, you're just going to go in visually? Yes, ma'am. Delta 1063, that would be great. Minutes later, they're on the ground. Hey, this is Grant Cardone. I just got off a flight 1063, Delta flight 1063. Dude, that was the scariest thing I have ever done in my life. Grant Cardone was recording the takeoff from first class. The plane shook us where I thought we were coming down. I choked on the video. I was literally calling my wife to say, hey, we could be freaking. This might be my last flight. I was that scared. Wow, thank God. It's all right. Bird strikes are not an uncommon occurrence. Since 1990, there have been more than 2,500 bird strikes at JFK alone. The number of strikes annually reported has increased more than five-fold from 1990 to 2010. And this one happened at the worst possible time, on takeoff, when the plane needs all the power it can muster. The real critical part of this is that it happened right after takeoff, three seconds after rotation, when the airplane's very heavy, it's got a full load of passengers, it has lots of fuel on board, and now he's down to one engine, and he sees the engine unwind in the cockpit, and he knows he's got to do some things very quickly, by memory and very professionally. ABC News flight consultant Steve Ganyard has been at the controls during a bird strike himself. Even a small bird can cause serious damage to an engine. If it's a big bird, it can bend back those compressor blades that you see in the front of the engine, and it can actually cause what's called a compressor stall, which is very much like a backfire in a car. And with all the uproar of late about pilot and crew misbehavior, <laughs> what a contrast to hear this Delta pilot's professional demeanor. Listen to his calming voice after it was all over. All is well so they can take their time and everybody can be calm out there. Delta 1063, thanks for the heads up. Reminiscent of that famous water landing in New York. Jack 1529, turn right 280, you can land runway right. 1 at Teterboro. We can't do it. Okay, which runway would you like at Teterboro? We're going to be in the Hudson. A massive bird strike brought down this U.S. air flight into the Hudson River. The airplane was pelted by many large birds. We could hear them hit. At the controls, Captain Sullenberger, or just Sully, who became a national hero for his calm demeanor and quick thinking. I was very confident. We had a plan, and it was the execution of that plan that was essential to getting us safely to the surface. And then I knew once we landed that the crew could evacuate the passengers and the rescue could begin. He, too, unable to avoid what pilots fear most. It's very, very difficult to avoid the birds. Sometimes you'll see them at the last minute. You're moving very fast, 150, 160 miles an hour. And if you were to abort the takeoff, you might cause more problems than you would if you just continue the takeoff. Planes like this Boeing 757 are actually designed to fly, land, even take off with just one engine. And today's remarkable flight and emergency landing is testament to the safety of the American fleet with no fatal crashes in two years and to the cool-headed pilots who fly them. For Nightline, I'm Jim Avila in New York. Hi, I'm Bob Bartle, founder and president of Bartle Research and the inventor of the Bartle Mag Probe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn by using the email bartlemagprobe at gmail.com or give me a call at 208-321-7566. One of the facts about bird strikes is there were 2,586 bird strikes annually at JFK Airport alone. And the numbers are increasing at an alarming rate. That was only at one airport. I can't even imagine what the number is globally. So we decided to invent a device to repel birds using an invisible barrier that would not harm the birds and could easily be set up. 
All I need is to talk with Boeing, Airbus, or any executives in the airline industry to present my idea. My invention will absolutely work, and I can prove it within seven days. I have already proven one method and have two other methods I know will work. So if you want to dramatically produce bird strikes, give me a call at 208-321-7566 or email me at bartlemagprobe at gmail.com. What do you got to lose?